Hey there guys and welcome back to Mana Down Under. For this video we're doing a commander deck tech, not a deck idea, on Marinora, which is one of my favourite commanders out there, I love it. So, a 5 mana black rat with 2-3, with all rats have fear. Tap, sack a rat, put X 1-1 one, one black rat tokens into play where X is the number of rats you control. Hmm, so it's like Krenko the mob boss, but you have to sacrifice a rat too. So you can double up your armour pretty much out of nowhere, it gives all your rats a form of evasion, and the main workhorse of the deck is Relentless Rats. Now, we run 25 in the deck, so a quarter of the deck pretty much. And Relentless Rats is a 3 mana 2-2 two -two with, it gets plus 1 plus 1 for each other Relentless Rats you control. And the deck may have any number, hence the 25. Now, we chose this over the Rat Colony because of a few things. We care about the Devotion to an extent, and they're a lot harder to kill. <laughs> the problem with the Rat Colony is it can be a 21, but it's still only one toughness and can die too easy. So we went with the Relentless because they're just a bit stronger, and we can reduce their cost anyway. So other things to consider in the deck. Thrumming Stone is a thing and it's overpowered. Spells you control have Ripple 4, so when you cast it, you may reveal top 4 cards in your library. You may play any revealed cards with the same name as the spell without paying their cost. Put the rest on the bottom of your library. So hopefully for every Relentless Rat you cast, you hit at least one other Relentless Rat. Pretty easy in the deck. Another thing to consider, there is an infinite combo with Marinora, Thornblade Staff, when it's equipped to him, as long as you can see one other creature die, he gets on tap. Or well, part of his cost is sacrificing a creature, it dying. So you tap Marinora, you sacrifice a rat, Thornbite stuff instantly sees it before the rat's even generated, untaps the Marinora, and your rats are generated, and you just keep doing it again. A little overpowered, but it is there. Now the two Ogre Brothers, they work well in the deck. Rat Catcher and Slum Lord. So Rat Catcher, on your upkeep, you may search your library for a rat card and put it into your hand. And your says fear, but I always keep him in the back line. Having a guaranteed relentless rat each turn puts so much pressure on your opponent, or you can go and get your discard rats. Slumlord has whenever a non token creature dies, you may put a 1 1 black rat token into play. And rats have death touch, makes him even more of a pain to deal with. Alright, let's get into the little guys himself. Ravenous rats, burglar rat, and drain pipe vermin all make your opponent ditch a card. Rotting Rats on entry makes each player ditch a card, which includes us, but it has it on Earth. So between these little fellas, we can keep their hands nice and empty. Same idea with Stronghold Rat here, with Shadow, pretty much unblockable because no one has Shadow. When he hits a player, each player ditches a card. Pack Rat, the big standard bomb back in the day, just kept growing and growing based on the number of rats. You can ditch a card, make a copy of Pack Rat, it's under, out of control. Um, Swarm of Rats, kind of the same problem Colony Rats has, where it's an X1, equal number of rats. But, it's another rat, it can be a big threat. Crip Rats is a big burn spell in a rat deck, really. It has X, it deals X damage to each creature and each player, spend only black mana. While black decks have that thing we do where we abuse mana and we can duplicate it, triple it, and we can just funnel it all into Crip Rats and hopefully burn our opponent out if we need to, or a board wipe if we need it. And quite often, your relentless rats are so big that they survive the board wipe, weirdly enough. We can even look to Kamigawa for rat support. Ink Eyes here lets us steal stuff from opponent's graveyard. Throat Splitter lets us destroy non black creatures, so Doomblade on hit. The Shinobi makes them ditch two cards, which is Mind Rot. And the Bone Reader here, if you can just sacrifice another creature, make them ditch a card at sorcery speed. All those rat tokens your commander's been producing, you just sacrifice them and you probably have to keep ditching cards. And with the ninjutsu on these ninjas, it's easy to cast because of your fear mechanic your commander brings in. The rats do have some synergy, it's not like goblin elf tribal support, but it's there and it does work. And other rats to consider are the misers, the gnat and locust. Between the two of them, your opponent's hand sizes are reduced by 3, so they're only allowed a hand size of 4. If they draw anything over, trying to get away from your discard, they're still going to discard down. Now to the support. Every rat army needs a little flag to get behind. Coat of arms and the banner. Great cards in the deck. At first I was always worried about coat of arms because it gives every creature on the board a big buff pretty much. Every creature including your opponents checks the board for other creatures that share a type and then buffs up accordingly. But the way your commander can make an army just appear out of nowhere like that, it's very scary. Your rats can go from being like 10 tens to something stupid. Um, in the banner here, you choose a creature type, probably rats, it buffs them by 1-1 one, one, and whenever you cast that creature type you draw a card. Pretty easy for the deck. It's a little more draw as well. A Crumbs Memorial, I chose this over Eldrazi Monument because I care about the keywords. The monument makes your rats indestructible and you have to keep sacrificing. 
but your rats are that big, being indestructible is not really much of an issue. So the memorial here gives your creatures flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, haste, protection from black and red. It's pretty good. Those flying rats are a thing, watch out people. Aren't they called pigeons? I don't know. Um, cover of darkness. Two mana, name a creature type, probably rats. The chosen type has fear. This is a redundancy plan for your commander, that's why it's here really. Grave Pact, you are sacrificing things, and whenever you're sacrificing things, Grave Pact is a great option. Lightning Greaves, it's just a bit of protection for commander, because he is 5 mana. Demonic Tutor, I do have it here because it does help the deck have a little consistency. I'm looking at trying to cut more tutors into the deck to be a bit more sweaty tryhard myself. Erebos, God of the Dead, I love that greedy black draw you can get. Paying 2 life to draw a card, mmm, love it. Frixian Arena and Skull Climb for more steady draw across the length of the game. Read the Bones and Sign and Blood. I just that one off nice draw you need now and then. Now to removal. Attrition, again, you're sacrificing these rats to do things. Your Grave Pack will love it. But sacrifice a creature, Doomblade. Can't really go wrong. I love Torment of Hellfire. Put it in any deck I can. Kindred Dominance. It's a tribal board wipe. You're going to name rats and destroy anything that's not a rat pretty much. Having selective removal is really good in the deck too because your opponent can't block how they would like to and it makes your damage get through, hopefully. Hero's Downfall, Murder, Go for the Throat, and their Affliction are great options in the deck, but just pick what works for you. This is what I prefer. Now into the mana. Soaring, because it's Commander. Jet Medallion makes all your black spells cost one less. Now your Relentless Rats are just two mana. Mmm, starting to get there. Herald's Horn, you choose a creature type, probably Rat. That creature type costs one less, well, between them, that and Medallion, hopefully your Rats will be nice and cheap. By beginning upkeep, you may reveal top card of your library. If it's a rat, put it into your hand. It's like a pseudo draw. And we went with 25 swarms. Now to the utility lands. The Cabal lands are broken in magic, and I think most players know it at this point. Cabal coffers is nearly 50 bucks. They need to reprint that thing. So, Cabal lands, Tomb of Yogmoth is very abusive. I'm sure you've seen it, Commander. We can have double, triple the mana. You really should. With Shrine of Nyx 2, which cares about devotion, those relentless rats have a devotion of two each. Your mana base is very abusive, and it's because of this we don't run mana doubling effects in the actual main part of the deck, like Cage Sun or Magus of the Coffer. We don't need to, because our land can do it already. Other lands to consider, Path of Ancestry. It can only produce colour from your commander, so black, but if you cast a creature spell that shares a type with your commander using this land, scry one. Every Relentless Rat is a free scry, really. Westvale Abbey can be pretty nuts in the deck, you can play it out of nowhere, sacrifice your five creatures and have a big demon for your opponent to deal with. Your commander makes these rats really easy. It's a great option. Myriad Landscape is just a fetch land really in the deck. Leecher and Swamp is a card I'm still deciding on, but I like to be able to do a little bit of chip damage here and there with it, but I might take it out eventually. And Swarm Yard. You thought I was going to forget it. There is a tribal land for this deck. Regenerate target insect, rat, spider or squirrel. It's, it's pretty good. Use it to protect your key pieces like in cards or your commander. So, what do you think about the rat deck? I love it. I reckon they're a great creature type. I can't wait for more support to come in the future years. Um, it is a very aggressive deck. Like, when two, three, four, five relentless rats are on the board and they're that big, like at least seven sevens, your opponent's on the clock. They better answer you quickly. But yeah, tell me what you think about the deck. It's one of my personal favorites. I love the artwork. I love rats and magic. There's so many rats I'd love to put in the deck, but I can't because they're not good. But they've got great artwork. Alright, let me know your thoughts and have a good one, guys. See ya. Thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to like and sub and click the bell icon for notifications. It's greatly appreciated. And if you have any deck or video ideas, just suggest them down below. And have a good one, guys.